Well, Matt, first of all, welcome back. And uh, should I ask how your off season's been in the midst of every other day rumors? You hear it here and there. You watch TV, it pops up. You know, watching bowl games, watching Bulls games, just watching any game, it pops up. And I, it don't bother me. I have things, other things to worry about besides that. So, you know, if I get a phone call, then I get a phone call. But until I do, it's, I'm a Cub, and I'm looking forward to being a Mesa. You know, at least Theo said that he has kept in touch with your representatives, at least trying to be transparent that they'd like to have you back, and yet they're trying to, if they can, better the team for the long haul. That still kind of leaves you up in the air. It has to be difficult, yes? Ah, uh, no. You just go with the fly. I've been traded twice already, so you know, I know how to pack quick. What have you been doing to prepare yourself for your second year here in Chicago? I'm doing the same thing I've done, you know, my entire career. Just weight train, you know, get you know, good cardio shape, throw, and just, you know, get ready for baseball things and, uh, you know, just spend my offseason being a dad and a husband and just do things like that. Theo and Jed Hoyer, they've been pretty, you know, out there about the type of team they'd like to have, the type of players they'd like to have, and yet what gives you hope that this team can still be competitive in the midst of this rebuilding process? You. Years because uh, we don't, you know, when kid, when we're young, we don't know what we can we can do until we really focus. And you know, some of these kids don't know what they can really do until they're really put to the test. And it's gonna be exciting to watch. You know, I can't wait for it. You know, I played on the team with youth before, and you know, pretty pretty good things happened there.